Jonathan Gonzalez versus Shokichi Iwata. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between uh, Gonzalez and Iwata is scheduled for 12 rounds in the junior flyweight division with Gonzalez defending his WBO title. Fight will be taking place on the 1st of November, November 1, in the undercard of the Kenshiro Teraji versus Hiroto Kyoguchi fight over in Saitama, Japan at the uh, Super Arena. Fight will be shown live over in Japan on Prime TV, on Prime Video, Amazon Prime. Uh, over in Europe, it will be shown live on The Zone. And over here in the United States of America, it'll be shown live on ESPN Plus. So tune into ESPN Plus if you want to see this fight. So um, yeah, it's a great card, great event. It'll be the co-feature for this card. To those who don't know who uh, Jonathan Gonzalez is, he's a 31-year-old fighter from Puerto Rico. 26 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw, 14 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. The current champion in this fight, current WBO champion at 108 pounds, is coming for a win against Mark Anthony Bariga. Uh, where he won by unanimous decision. He's currently in a four-fight winning streak since losing to Kose Tanaka back in 2019. And here he is, traveling back to Japan, fighting Iwata, a 26-year-old fighter from Tokyo, Japan, with an undefeated record of nine wins, zero losses, six wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Iwata is the current Japanese champion, as well as the OPBF champion and as well as the WBO Asia Pacific champion. So he's more of a regional regional champion. And this is his first major step up fighting a world champion like Gonzalez. Um, yeah, it's it's there's there's a lot of questions when it comes to Wata, how good he really is. Watching footage of him, he's fast, man. I, I, I like what I saw of Iwata. Um, yeah, I honestly... I like it so much. I like the speed so much. I won't be surprised if he beats Gonzalez. And actually, my gut feeling is telling me Iwata is going to win this fight. Even though he lacks the level of opposition and experience still, I feel like in this fight, he will he will, he will, will uh, put an exclamation mark on, on his name and become the new world champion. Don't get me wrong. I like I like Gonzalez. I think Gonzalez is a very good fighter. Um, you know, he had the very... He's, he deserves to be world champion, uh, one of the best fighters in the lower weight divisions. Uh, but my, my gut feeling is telling me that Iwata will will surprise a lot of people. Um, but, you know, <laughs> at the same time, you know, being realistic, Gonzalez is the more tested fighter. He's been in there against better opposition. He's also fast, strong, very good at picking his shots. But honestly, my gut feelings tell me Iwata will pull this off. It'll be close, though. I won't be surprised if it ends up being close. I think it's going to be a very close competitive fight. But uh, I, I think Iwata will will show the world who he is. Um, we'll see. Right? We will see. Uh, I mean, Gonzalez, man, props to him for traveling back to Japan. I mean, the last time he traveled back to Japan... He lost to Tanaka yeah, in a close competitive fight, but he ended up getting stopped in that one. I honestly could see the same thing happening here. Um, out of all the losses he's had, he's all been stopped. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I think Iwata might land a clean one on him. I think he will. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Um, honestly, just looking forward to a great day of boxing on the 1st of November. It's a great day. This, this card, this event, whew. It's, it's freaking awesome, man. There's a lot of big names fighting this card. Um, you know, if you're a big boxing fan, whew, this is one to look forward to. Can't wait. And keep in mind, November 1 is a Tuesday. And it's going to be in the morning over here in the States. So just FYI. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.